Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions, and today I will be showing you how to animate in Final Cut. I am using Final Cut Express, but this will work in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I have a picture of a bird and a picture of a flower. Okay, so um, animating is also called um, keyframing. And animating can be used to, let's say, move around the photo, make transitions, or um, zoom, rotate. So uh, your main keyframe button is located right near, right on your canvas. And when you hover over it, it says Add Motion Keyframe. It can also be Option K. Um, so for this example, I will take the bird photo and I am going to lower the size of my canvas. By doing that, I'm just going to make it 50 because that's a pretty good size. And I'll come to the beginning of the clip and I'll hit the motion keyframe button. Now, if I hover over it, I'll come over here, hit the motion keyframe button, and as you can see, the wireframe has turned green. If you do not see the wireframe, you can go to this button and hit image plus wireframe. You might also see just wireframe, wireframe if you have a Final Cut Pro. Alright, so as we see that, um, we'll have it, uh, let's say, let's decrease the size. To do that, just go over to the corner and the little plus symbol will come up and just drag to the center. And we'll have it about there. And then we'll come to wherever we want it to uh, finish zooming and come there, hit the keyframe button, then increase the size again. And there we have it zoomed and I'll show you what it will look like. A nice steady zoom. Um, this can come in handy whenever you like, like I said, make a transition. Um, also you can do, for example, moving. So let's say I want, I have it in the beginning I'll bring the photo, uh, wait, I will come over here, and you can literally move it around, and that will automatically make a keyframe. Now, this is, comes in handy very often, because say you don't want to have to go keep hitting it, um, keep hitting the add motion keyframe button, it will automatically add a keyframe. So now I can move this around wherever I want and we'll keep it. And also, as you can see, you have the pen tool, which is also located down here in your uh, box or toolbox. But I'll keep there. And you can move it around and now you can, and it will animate it. And I'll give you an example. So it is moving around. Now this really comes in handy like so often, um, and, and for example, I'll get show you how to um, make a transition, a transition, basic transition. So um, I am going to delete that, and I will just put this back in so it has no keyframes, just basic photo, and I will. Um, Put this over on top. I have um, snapping turned on, so I will hit N. And that uh, will make it so it doesn't snap in place. And that comes in handy for like fine tuning or something. Just because I wanted to move it over without it snapping to the grid. So I'll hit N again just so it goes back on. Um, so now I'm going to add a, a basic transition 
So I double clicked on it to make the picture go into the viewer. Now um, I have the viewer size down, but I can put it up or you can do fit all or fit to window. And then I will go to um, motion, the motion tab. And I am for this, I will be doing an opacity. And as you can see, the same button that was over here is now all here. And that's for almost all of your effects or anything. So I want to start it out with uh, zero opacity. And I'm gonna hit the add keyframe button. And then I will go to the uh, part where the bird clip ends and I will add another keyframe. You don't actually have to do that. You can just drag up the opacity and it'll automatically add a keyframe. And here is an example, or here is what we just did. See, a nice um, nice effect. It, it really looks good and professional and didn't take long. And I mean, you never have to go in and look for your video transitions and find the exact one. You can just make your own. Um, or for example, I want it to change colors. So I can add a, um, I'll add a color corrector. And then I don't want it to be, um, I, or I don't want it to be like the visual. I want it to be this. So go to your filters tab and then hit the down arrow and it will open up all these controls. So, and as you can see, you can, you can, uh, keyframe almost every single thing. You can't keyframe invert or something like that because, um, and you don't need, like, you can't keyframe an invert because it's either on or off. You can't have in between. Um, so for this, oops, I'll undo that. Um, for this, I'll keyframe the saturation. So I'll have it all the way right here. It's all the way desaturated. And then I will have it like that. Then come to, I don't know, mid clip. And then pull up the saturation. To Actually, I'll just have it at 100 so it doesn't look too oversaturated. And here is what we have. Now that looks pretty good to me. Um, having it all, um, being able to like add motion to your clips is comes in a lot of handy. And also you can, I mean, you can start thinking about like more things. And for example, I want to crop the picture. See, you can, I'll crop it like this. So, bang, add a keyframe, go a little further, then push it up. And this can come in handy when you're green screening, for example. And um, also you can go in here and you could adjust the keyframe even more, uh, adjust the timing. Um, so yeah, this has been Luke from FLC Productions, and I hope this tutorial has helped you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.